The question before us today was Islam and Western civilization, can they coexist? Well, the, the short answer to that is no, they can't. And that's because Islam is uh, diametrically opposed to Western uh, liberal democratic values. What, what do you think of today? What, did you learn anything? Great, yes. Uh, tr tremendous content, lots of good information, but um, you know, it's a um, worrisome, worrisome perspective. Okay. In what way? Because there are things are getting worse under under our leadership. You mean with regard to recognizing jihadism and Islamism? With regard to the federal government that isn't doing the right thing. In uh, winning the war in jihad, Daniel Greenfield uh, uh, contends that we're winning. How do you think? I, I thought his was the best pre best presentation of the day. Yeah, it was a, a fantastic event. One of the best I've been to. We had more people of deep thought today in one one day than I've ever I've ever witnessed before in all the events I've ever been at. So it's fantastic on that. And I'm very optimistic. It all depends on this next election. If we can elect a Republican, things will be okay. If not, we're we're doomed. I got a one way ticket. How is it not Islamophobic? to have a, a conference about Islamism, political Islam? Well, I, I take exception to the term Islamophobia or Islamophobic. A phobia is an irrational fear of something. Our fear of Islam is not irrational. It's based on their actions and also what they say. This was a very, very good meeting. Very intelligent people, intelligent speakers. Terrific meeting. Well, would you invite people to come back next time? Absolutely, and I'll be back myself, too. Absolutely, I would invite people to come and become educated, because you would learn a lot, as I did today. Great patriot, Ed Ames. Great to see you.